Two men recently caught fire at Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop store, authorities confirmed to Fox News Digital. According to Austin McGuire, chief of police in Sag Harbor, New York, two men attending an event at the Goop store June 25th were burning a flammable substance in a stone candle holder when a flash occurred and lit the men on fire. When police arrived, the two men were extinguished with a fire extinguisher but required medical attention. Both men were treated by EMS, with one transported to Stony Brook Southampton Hospital with burns. The second man was transported by medical helicopter to Stony Brook University Hospital for additional treatment. The incident is still being investigated by Sag Harbor Village Fire Marshal Bruce Schiavone, and the men's current condition is unknown. Paltrow has not responded to Fox News Digital's request for comment. This is not the first time Paltrow's goop candle sparked a fire. In 2021, a man from Texas, Colby Watson, sued the actress, alleging a goop candle exploded on his nightstand. Watson claimed that he burned the goop candle for three hours before it was engulfed in high flames and damaged his bedside table. He sued Paltrow for $5 million in damages. However, Paltrow's This Smells Like My Vagina candle urges consumers not to burn it for over two hours. In May 2021, a spokesperson for Goop told NBC News that Watson's lawsuit had no merit. We're confident this claim is frivolous and an attempt to secure an outsized payout from a press-heavy product. We stand behind the brands we carry and the safety of the products we sell. Here, Heretic, the brand that supplies the candle, has substantiated the product's performance and safety through industry standard testing, the spokesperson said at the time. Prior to Watson's lawsuit, a woman named Jody Thompson made similar claims about a candle. The candle exploded and emitted huge flames with bits flying everywhere, Thompson told The Sun in January 2021. I've never seen anything like it. The whole thing was ablaze, and it was too hot to touch. There was an inferno in the room, 